the greatest illusionist of our time, David Copperfield. It's true, I got to hang out with the coolest guys in show business. Earth, wind, and fire. They were the first group to ever incorporate magic into their live performances, always wanting to top themselves and give the audiences bigger and better thrills. Magic fit right in with the image and mystique of the band, the Egyptian culture and mythology that influenced their costumes and album covers. I'll never forget the reaction when I told them about the illusion I created for them. Maurice, the music god, Maurice was gonna be magically crushed by a heavy giant speaker. In unison, they said, do it with Rudine. <laughs> as soon as I reassured them he'd be safe, they jumped in with the same enthusiasm they had for making music. Our rehearsals were unforgettable. Philip's perfect voice, Rudine sharing his admiration for Jimi Hendrix, and Ralph allowing me to play conga drums in Boogie Wonderland. I was thrilled to be playing with the number one act in the world, and they were thrilled that the horn session was drowning out my singing. <laughs> I had dreams that they'd asked me to join the band, call it Earth, Wind, Fire, and some Jewish kid from New Jersey. <laughs>